Okay, welcome. Uh, this is a beginner's tutorial or noob friendly uh, guide to the um, Bloody Hands campaign on Legendary Mode. Uh, I particularly like um, the Orc factions, Greenskins, Crooked Moon, and uh, Bloody Hands. But Bloody Hands are really cool since they have a uh, their faction leader should have only savage orcs in his army. So Warzog, the great green prophet, uh, minus 50% upkeep for savage orc units. So that's really amazing. He also gets a giant, which is uh, great and all in the beginning. But uh, I would think that once you get a second army up, you want to move over that giant since he doesn't get the uh, this benefit, the 50% uh, upkeep. And a 25% charge bonus for Savage Orc units. Just uh, really good. Alright, so Legendary Mode, here we go. Okay, so uh, here we go. Uh, thank you, old man. Subjective, alright. Take three settlements or sack the resistance. Okay, so... Um, yeah, so Savage Orcs, right, they have War Paint, which uh, they have that, that gives them a physical resistance, and Frenzy. This is where if their leadership is high, they're doing more damage. So, very attack-based um, faction. Very cool, in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to build shiny stuff here for the gold. This I'm not going to upgrade because um, I'm not going to need... Uh, the Savage or ar Archers right now. Uh, I probably will upgrade once I have uh, level 3. Because I, I just I don't think I'll need this. Uh, the reason being is because Warzog, if you look under his skills, uh, in the thir third tier with the leadership here, uh, Brutal Lads, this gives melee attack and charge bonus to your Savage Orcs. Yeah, so the... Um, this skill that increases the melee damage, the melee attack, and the charge bonus. A little further down, there's also this one, which does like the same thing. Uh, these go very well. Uh, they synergize very well along with uh, savages, increasing their weapon strength. So uh, this tier, this tier is like really good, in my opinion. Um, However, this, uh, the second tier, Gaze of Mork, this tier is, uh, is amazing. And you want to try to get, uh, like, this tier, uh, max, well, not maxed out, but get it to Arcane Conduit faster than this down here. Like, the Walk Path, I don't think is, um, that great with uh, Bloody Hands, but it's also how you want to play uh, your game. However, I do think Lightning Strike is uh, probably the best thing uh, on this bottom tier here. You want to get Root Marcher uh, very early because, as you can see, the Badlands are just like vast land that you have to uh, make a lot of uh, trek for. So anyway. Uh, here we go. I'm going to. If I attack, but if I go near Bitterstone Mine to attack, uh, this army will march over to um, to try to defend it. So uh, also, you could you could try going for Stone Mine Tower, right? However, what happens is if you do take it, the Border Princes um, constantly harass you there, and it's just it's it, you're really out of the way. So, what what ends up happening is usually the scabby eyes, right? These guys are the scabby eyes. They um they have a confederacy with the greenskins, so you don't even have to um fight them really. Like the green, th this will be um it usually this usually happens, but if it doesn't, you I still don't think you should go f after it. Um, cause e even if you get all four, uh, all the, the rest of the other three settlements, the commandments are not that great for, uh, like, green skin factions, right? They're kind of bad. 
you'd probably be doing this one brag about the brag about the boss recruitment cost minus five and then local recruitment capacity plus one so anyway this is what I found to be uh that works best you kind of want to go in, the, in between these two because whichever one you go after these this army will uh, go and protect it so if I if I move here and I want to move inside my border so that I could uh, recruit right so if I move here what happens is this army will come and defend Bitterstone mine and if I move here this army just stays where it's at so you kind of want to do the most damage without um, without getting too many casualties right off the bat uh, you want to get as many um, soldiers to fight them so that you just ha get less casualties all right so I'm gonna move right uh, here okay and oh, as you can see upkeep minus 50 percent this is amazing I mean 69 um, gold that's I believe that's lower than goblins <laughs> right like uh, very good so I usually like if, if this was a goblin big boss I'd be uh, powering up this uh, tier down here because I like to make him like an assassin and to help me block enemy armies but this is a goblin knight shaman so he has like really good um, buffs that he could do to the to my soldiers so I'm gonna go with this tier up here sneaky stabbing and I'm trying to go to get uh, arcane conduit and also curse of the bond moon that's that's really good too alright so I'm gonna just go ahead and dive All right. Okay, so uh, they didn't move here. Now, that's it. All depends on the game, right? But so, sometimes they'll do. But they're trying to defend their capital because I could see at this at this spot right here. I can attack both so they have to give up one of them and I guess they're giving up better stone mine time. Time. Uh, because it's a uh, balance of power is overwhelming I'm just going to auto resolve this <coughs> um, here I I am going to loot and occupy. Uh, I'll take the penalty because uh, I'll I'll just take care of the rebels as soon as they appear. I'll be alright. Uh, Dragon Helm, okay. Uh, no, not hand weapon. What am I? Okay, skills. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna go for root marcher first, and then I'm gonna get one point on this, just so that. Uh, Warzog gives my soldiers uh, leadership because remember uh, these guys have frenzy with more leadership they, they do more damage it's, it's ridiculous right uh, I am going to repair this this building see you don't want to um, recruit oh yeah let's recruit you don't want to recruit oh see yeah it, these guys are cheaper to upkeep than than goblins ridiculous so this guy just has to have all savage orc units uh, these orcs orc boys and goblins you don't want to get these guys on his army at all however for a second army yeah these are probably what you want to go with probably orc boys and like use savage orcs to flank right so uh because the the second army this they won't they will not have this upkeep upkeep uh, bon bonus. All right. Let's take what's in the hours. All right, here I'm gonna upgrade my shiny stuff. Just gonna get gold. Uh, I am gonna go for him, but I don't. I still want to keep recruiting soldiers. This way, I am gonna move right to my border, and another three savage orcs. Just gonna make a bunch of savage orcs. All right. 
yeah you could choose for this building you can choose to delete it for now right demolish it maybe build shiny stuff um but i'm going to be getting a second army up fairly soon so i'm gonna just ha leave it <laughs> all right rebellion imminent no problem we'll take care of it as soon because once we take uh dragon horn mine we can just uh go to squash the rebellion Alright. Again, because it's uh, overwhelming balance of power, I'm going to auto resolve. My shaman's almost dead. Uh, here, I'm going to loot and occupy again. Uh, I'm going to take the penalty because I'm going to get a rebellion anyway, so might as well get the gold. Alright, potion of strength. I got some garbage. Um, again, more of these guys. I'm still not going to upgrade this. Here, I'm going to build again shiny stuff. Just going to get try to get gold. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but uh, it'll be alright. Here, I'm going to get the leadership. And here, I'm getting sneaky stabbing. Oh, uh, just so you know, this is still in legendary mode, so yeah, I can't save. Okay. I might, uh... I might cut parts of the video out because... Like, loading screens and whatnot, because I don't want to waste anybody's time. Um... So, if... Since I'm cutting out parts of the video, um, I just want to prove that I'm still on legendary mode. Alright, so, Rebellion, Jagged Horde Tribe, oh, too bad. Right. Uh, I just got a, a WOG. This, this, this should occur with you guys too, right? So if you go, Better Stone Mine, um, Dragon Horn Mine, uh, it should, it should still occur. But if you don't get a wog from getting these two, you will get a wog from uh, after crash crushing this rebellion. See, this this uh, really t tempts me to attack here, but I can't. So crush the re crush the rebellion before it even uh, gets large. Oh my god! I I. See, that's the poor thing, the bad thing about auto-resolving, auto is that, uh, like, heroes usually take a, a lot of the heat. Uh, I'm not gonna ransom, I'm just gonna slaughter. Yeah. For the leadership bonus. Alright, hopefully the, uh, my shaman doesn't die here. But still very close to die. 1% that's not that's, that's alright I'm not sure if this stacks I think it does for the turns wise not the leadership I know it's still leadership plus 4 but I think it's like th the turns stack let me double check I just got some items yeah slaughtered captives turns remaining 10 okay so that's if you didn't know that the this is this is uh this that's true. Alright, I, I use the march to get into Ekrun just so I can yeah. get more um, replenishment. In fact, I'm going to combine. It'll be okay. I want to combine so that my shaman just gets a little bit more replenished. Uh, I'm going to upgrade Dragon or mines because it's further away from the border princes and honestly these guys are just like constantly uh harassing and being annoying all right all right so here is uh, the the way you your your style of play right you could either go gaze of mork and power up this tree 
However, I'm going to go with um, bru Brutal Lads. I, I simply think it's better, but don't get me wrong. This, this, uh, this tree is amazing too. But I want to uh, power up my Savage Orcs as early as possible, as fast as possible. So, Brutal Lads. Oh, I got two, okay. Let's take what should be Here, ours. uh, reduced power recharge rate for enemy. Vindictive glare, th good versus single combat. This is really cool because it's like your shaman gets a, um, a single target, uh, spell. And then I think so does, uh, Warzog. I, I'm, gonna I'm actually gonna go with, uh, Vindictive glare. Alright. Uh, plus one thousand. Uh, okay. I wouldn't recommend making the second army yet. So you want to make it? Uh, we're gonna be attacking these guys. The rival power comes to parley. Peace treaty. Demanding right. a change in your mutual. No problem. That might not happen in your game, but it's okay. Uh, we're gonna be fighting the top knots gonna get rid of these guys and control like all of the the uh, bad lands over gyrating shaman or right, my shaman got wounded whatever alright so I'm gonna move my um, warzog into the territory here to protect my dragon horn lines I'm gonna do a regular stance or no stance and build up more savage orcs. Alright, so this is protected. If he wants to go after Ekrund, well, he's an idiot. And if he tries to go for Bitterstorm Mine, I'll be able to intercept. Uh, as for the Wog army, I guess I could set it to. I guess set it to a, a region. Yeah, I'm gonna set it to Gonti Mingol. Gronti Mingol. Get rid of uh, Teeth Snatchers, and then we're attacking. Uh, top knots. Right, yeah, definitely. Get rid of them as, as soon as possible. Take all of the bad lands and uh, move your way. Move your way uh, to the right and make your way to the mountains here. All right, here we go. Ah, they're doing the uh, work for me. Mission issue. Time for be at war. Wow, look at this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this happens to um to every game, but I'll get 16 leadership when fighting against greenskins. That's uh, pretty amazing. Since if you remember frenzy, right? My savage orcs will do more damage when they have high leadership. So if you can maintain high leadership, then they'll keep doing more damage. I'm not gonna touch these guys. They're they're. Uh or oh, actually, maybe I should, right? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Again, uh, overwhelming power. Orders will resolve. Um, it's not enough gold. I'm gonna slaughter captives. Alright, and it looks like the top knots have taken Grantium and Gold. So you know what? I'm probably going to head over to their land and uh, then declare war on them. Or at least get close to them and then declare war. Alright. Yeah, clear. Okay, clear. What you want? I'm still not gonna upgrade this. Uh, everything's gonna be okay. Yeah. So plus twelve melee attack, plus ten charge. Uh, very high. Moving. So I think this turn I'm gonna be attacking top knots. See, this army uh, might be might get annoying since 
it's uh, really close to like undefended territory. Upgrade shiny stuff. Francis Dragon Mines. Uh, all right. So here, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the uh, the Goblin Watch Tower. I'm gonna upgrade this too. Let's take the my province is gonna revolt like really soon. Uh, so I'm gonna squash the rebellion, and then afterwards I'll I'll move into the um, top knots. I'm gonna attack straight into Galbaraz. Uh, from a previ previous video, I've also I've also mentioned that if you are gonna start taking control of territories, you have to have the capital, because territories will like revolt, and revolting art like rebels will just like take the territory without you being able to. Uh, Come and save it in time. I think I'll be at minus 99 for Ekrund. Yeah, alright. Uh, war favor, recruiting cost. Yeah, I got lucky with this one. I'm gonna go with recruiting, cro recruiting cost and uh, get a new hero up. So, yeah. Here we go. Name. No. I think if you get Night Goblin Shamans, they actually uh, are cheaper to upkeep. Plus 3 leadership, minus 15%. Um, okay, yeah, obviously I think this guy's better. So, Arog. Uh, here I'm gonna go with. Goblins, because I'm just gonna squash the rebellion with him, and Warzog straight into Galbaraz, and I don't care if we're not gonna be friendly because I'm going to declare war next turn. Oh, okay, there you go. My uh, my wog is being useful. If if since this guy's not gonna be defending against rebels, that's fine because he's going to defend the territories against uh, what am I trying to say? Against the top knots. Remember they had an army. They might come back and just bother me. So you know, we don't want that. I'm gonna get some more goblins. It'll be okay. I know goblins are bad. I know, but it's okay. I'm gonna declare war here. Strength rank 8. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna try to get close. I think I can do one more, right? 57. Yeah. Alright, that's good. Uh, and raid, and then next turn I attack directly into their um, capital. My wog, I'm gonna send them over to Grown Team and Goal. This guy's building goblins. Alright. Looks good so far. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna cancel this. I think my wog's probably gonna lose that fight. Never mind. Alright, my shaman's back. Alright, here we go. So, because I have a giant, I can like smash the gate. And again, balance of power is too great in my favor. I have plenty of leadership, I'm just going to auto. Resolve it. Alright, here. Uh, I'm going to loot and occupy. I don't care about the, the penalties. Right. Squashing rebels is like 40% of this game. Well, when you play on legendary at least. Uh, here I'm going to get... See, it's not even worth getting the Savage Orc building in, in the capital, right? Because it only goes up to level 3, so you could literally build it on any other... Um, Thing. You should probably get something like the Musta Field. Uh, 
Yeah, for now I'm gonna get Mustard Fields. It'll be okay. Alright. Here. Just gonna move him. My shaman's like... Very low HP. Right here, I'm gonna get Orc Boys. Uh, I'm gonna delete this building because I just don't want it in Ekrund. I'm probably gonna build this like Bitterstone Mine or something like that and uh, have it there. Alright. I think that's it, right? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, here, I'm gonna get the Goblin Watchtower. Uh, the reason I get these is because it prevents, like, tiny armies that the computer sends out. Like, the computer will send out some, like, small armies that consist of, like, you know, five battalions. You know, something, like, really weak. And regular settlements just get uh sacked or raised by these like l stupid little armies and it's it's really frustrating so i like to just make the investment of getting the like those defenses all oh, right this is a good time that we actually got this your conquest i make that little wide. investment because it uh it gets rid of all the frustration and headaches that come with of oh i actually forgot all about this lords. mission well, that's all right uh, if you're playing, uh, when your game, always make sure you you're looking at your missions every turn. I just made a big mistake there. All right, here I'm going to build the mustard fields, and I think I can. Uh no, I can't. I'm just gonna try to defend the dragon horn mines. I'm gonna get orc boys. And actually, for this, I'm not even gonna try to um, fight this army. I'm just gonna let them fight uh, for the dragon horn mines. This one, I'm gonna move down. Yeah, here we go. I don't even think it will let me go. Yeah, alright. It's okay. He has like nothing here. We're just gonna take this. What can I do? Assassinate assault unit. 44%. Alright, I'll do the assault unit. Alright, it worked. I got pretty lucky there. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, so this, this, uh, when I when I was talking about the goblin watchtowers, like armies like that, like very small armies that just kind of go around and ruin your day. All right, I'm losing quite a bit of money, but it's all right. Actually, I think I have enough orc boys and goblins. All right, this I will delete here. I'm not upgrading anything. Uh, my treasury is kind of low. Smash of good. Auto resolving. I do want to get some footage of uh, of me using these savage orcs. Seven hundred gold. I'm still gonna loot and occupy. I'll take the penalty. Uh, the re the regiments of the renown. These, uh, I don't think you should get these until like much later in the game because they're way too expensive and it's not I don't think it's worth the uh, what you pay for them all right uh, gonna repair here this is a really nice area because it's like really far away from things so I'm probably gonna upgrade that area very early let me see can, 
can I get lucky again? Assault unit? <laughs> it worked again. Wonderful. I think uh, Warzog gets a thing for heroes. Or no. Like heroes do... Or no, no. Heroes have a 50%... Like heroes can't do anything to him. I think. It's like that. He has a really high resistance to enemy heroes hurting him. Or like assassinating him or blocking him. Things like that. Uh, right. Get back here. These, this, get back here and stand your ground. They're good and all. But honestly, I'm just going for these. The real savage boys. That's what I'm going for. Savage or cavalry units. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna get sneaky stealing. And probably get the cooldown reduction for Vindictive Player. Alright, Rebellion. Quest issue, trigger one log. Another rebellion imminent. He went, uh, the enemy army went somewhere here and uh, got ready for an ambush, so. I'm still gonna stay here. If they attack the Bitterstone Mines, well, that's, uh, that's my loss. I'm gonna bring my shaman down. Let's take what should be ours. Uh, bringing this guy up forward. Alright. Savage Orcs. I'm gonna disband one just so I could get my shaman in there. I'm losing some gold, but it's alright. I feel like every time you play as Greenskins or Crooked Moon or Bloody Hands. You're always like negative gold. Your income is always negative, but um, you have a lot of gold usually from sacking or raiding. All right. Rebels ambush raiding the bird. So this is the army we have to worry about. This one right here. Uh, the rebels don't worry about those guys. And I'm kind of uh, scared here, so I'm gonna move my army to Bitterstone Mine in case this guy tries to attack. My this arm, this army will go. We can't stop. Yes, I wanted to embed my shaman and then attack. All right. So again, overwhelming. I'm gonna auto it. 600 gold, still not enough. I'm gonna slaughter. Potion of healing, you know what? I'm gonna give this to my shaman, right? Because potion of healing like heals up all of his HP. I'm gonna give it to him. Uh, this next fight, I'm gonna like fight it and actually like, use the potion on him. Uh, fight battle. I got really lucky with getting the potion of healing. You might not uh, get it, but my yeah, my shaman's been like low HP this whole whole time. Alright, uh, 17, honestly this is a really high number, I'm not gonna gamble, I usually do gamble all the time, but um, I'm not gonna do it this uh, at 17, that's pretty high. I feel like if it's above 15, don't gamble, if it's below or at 15, gamble. Alright, start deployment. Uh, 
Well, it doesn't even matter, right? Because this is, uh... What's it called? Didn't I give him the... Oh, no, it takes a... Takes a turn, right? All right, it takes a turn. I forgot about that. I gave him the, the healing potion, but I forgot that it takes a turn for it to actually, like, um... To work. Or to be applied to the guy, so I forgot about that. I, I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm just gonna... Um... Speed this up. Missile damage, weapon damage. That's kind of useless on him. Glade we reduced. Okay, that's this is pretty good. Scroll of reaching. Very nice. Gaze of move on him. Uh, you want to try to get Savage Orcs into enemy heroes because from what I found out, uh, like, Savage Orcs do so much damage to enemy heroes. Alright, so uh, he's not dying. That is the He's going to retreat now. And if he doesn't, oh geez, yeah. Okay. Wonderful. I, th I, I have a feeling like auto resolve, I probably would have lost like less people again because like auto resolve is pretty uh, overpowered in my opinion when you play against computers or when you play a campaign. I'm gonna speed this up. And so yeah, the whole point of me uh, fighting this fight was to give my shaman the healing potion so they could bring his uh, HP back up. But I forgot that when applying the item to the character, it takes a whole turn for it to actually be applied. So I apologize for that. Alright, uh, 600 gold, not enough, I'm gonna slaughter again. Okay, I got a bunch of things. <clears throat> Alright, um, I'm gonna move a little bit further up, uh, finish off these rebels. Uh, I have having this right here makes everything better. Once I take uh, Glonti Mingol, this is just a matter of time. Uh, the Gore Gazan, that's just a matter of time of taking it. But the way I'm gonna like do this is probably send my Savage Orc army um, 
start sending them to the right, whereas this army, uh, filled with uh, nonsense, will be the one to take Garrus. Uh, where was it again? I'm sorry. Gorgazan. All right. Skill points. Like I said, this is where I'm going for right here. Just more savage orc attack. I'm gonna power up vindictive or get cooldown reduction for vindictive glare. Uh, you also want to try to ally yourself with either green skins or crooked moon. I think uh, green skins is probably a better idea. All right, I got a wog, I think. But Confederation green skins. Uh, I guess it hasn't happened yet, but usually, like I said, green skins usually confe uh, has a confederacy with scabby eyes. Use it here to perform actions. Right against. Okay. So, I have to Your use my hero to also uh, perform some sort of action. I'm probably going to do an assault unit since it's a high chance of it happening. Alright. I'm going to auto battle it. No, my shaman died. Alright, so don't, don't be risky like me and uh, lose your shaman from uh, auto resolving. That was a very uh, poor choice. Uh, make sure you don't do that if you're playing. I can't even recruit another one. Alright, but anyway. Uh, this is just to show the... Uh, a new... A, a, friend, a very easy way to like... Get a really good uh, start as Bloody Hands. Right, so it's, it, it doesn't matter. I've already done this campaign. Um, right, so here, finish these guys off, and then take. All right, uh, again, slaughtering. So, as you can see, um, oh, let me also take care of these, I think, right? Oh, actually, I don't have to, because these guys are, if they want to attack, they have to go through the rebels. But I'm just going to hold, like, defend Bitterstone Mine until I get this army to come over here and take care of them. Uh, this Wog, I would probably send... To Gorgazan, see, so I could just uh, split my forces, take as much as I can, as fast as I can, and immediately start pushing to the right. However, the border princes are a thorn in your uh, back, so you want to have like probably like an army like this one, uh, just sitting around here, taking care of rebels and potentially taking care of uh, border princes you might not want to uh, build the army this way you might want to get some orc boys you know some goblins and then some also savage orcs using the savage orcs to flank the enemy I think that's uh, your best bet at uh, at winning your fights uh, but yeah uh, as you can see at this I think this strategy is the best for getting a really good head start on as playing as bloody hands and as I, as I mentioned before hitting the right and uh, potentially either being friends with crooked moon or green skins but to be honest you can get away with not even having allies uh, and that might be the case for like the green the green skin factions in general uh, so one thing I also wanted to mention was the uh, the red fangs don't try to ally them just keep con uh, continually taking things uh, especially the blightwater region first and then move up to crooked uh, Karak Eight peaks uh, have that one army defending against rebels and
the border princes the dwarves won't be a issue up until you get like Karakate peaks they they don't become an issue until around then and uh yeah just so you could also see it still is this all the same right like my uh arog whatever and uh my war warzog uh, and I just want to also show that it is still on legendary mode. Anyway, thank you for watching.